Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Thank you for joining me for our reading lesson today. And today I want to teach you that readers think about the whole book to read more challenging books. So let's take a look at the book that we are going to practice with today. Take a look at the cover, ask yourself, what do you see? The title says, how do you know it's spring? Hmm, what do you see at the end of that title? Question mark. They're asking us a question. How do you know it's spring? By Alan Fowler. What do you see on the cover? Some flowers. That's actually called a cherry blossom, and it grows on a cherry blossom tree. And I have one in my backyard. They're so beautiful. As you're looking at the cover, I want you to ask yourself, what kind of book do you think this might be? If you said nonfiction, you are right. Nonfiction books usually have pictures that are real and they teach us about something. What do you think this book might be teaching us about? How we know it's spring. So if this book is teaching us about how we know it's spring, what kind of words do you think we might see in this story? Maybe flowers? Try and think about what, uh, what do we see outside when we know it's springtime? Bees, maybe more animals, bugs, flowers, things are starting to grow. Think about the words we might see. Flowers, bees, warm, growing, grass. It could be many things, but I want you to keep those words in your head as we read our book today. So, as we read the pages in this book, and as we come to tricky words, we have to think about what this book is about as a whole, and what words would make the most sense. All right, how do you know it's spring? Title page, how do you know it's spring? How do you know it's spring? When the leaves begin to grow on the trees, when the grass turns green again. When the first, hmm, let's stop and think. What do we think that word might be? When the first full, full, well, I know FL is an L blend. Full makes the full sound. I'm going to look at my picture, think about what's in my picture, and I'm going to think about what the whole book is about. I know this book is about spring. What kind of things do we see in spring? When the first flowers bloom in your garden or in the park, then you know it's springtime. Good job. Last fall, the robins flew south where it's warmer. They spent all winter there. But now it's spring and the robins are back. So some birds, they fly south for the winter and they come back when it gets warm again in the springtime. Birds can tell when it's spring and time to build their nests lay their eggs, and hatch their babies. Many baby animals are born in the spring. Got a baby deer, some baby squirrels, so cute. You know it's spring when winter's last snows have melted and filled the, hmm, filled the, er, starts with an R. I know that R says er. Let's look at the picture. Hmm, what is that picture of? And let's stop and think, what is the whole book about? It's about how we know it's springtime. Let's try that again. 
You know in spring, when winter's last snows have melted and filled the rivers and streams with rushing water. So in the winter, when it snows, that snow can melt and add more water into our rivers and streams. Or when you can go outside without a heavy coat and still feel warm. But some days you need an umbrella to stay dry during spring showers. You know it's spring when you hear the crack of a bat hitting a baseball. When you and your friends can't wait to ride your bikes. Or put on your roller. Hmm. Starts with an S. We know S says, let's check our picture, see what's going on. And we're going to ask ourselves, what's this whole book about? So let's try it again. Or put on your roller skates. Or have fun at the playground. Spring is the time for farmers to plow their fields so they can plant their crops. It's the time for you to plant seeds if you have a garden. Miss Martin just planted some plants in her garden. Mother's Day and Memorial Day come in the spring. Those are two holidays we celebrate in the spring. Most adults don't get a spring vacation, but you do. So why not go outside and play? It's spring. And here are some words at the end of the book that help us know that it's spring. It says words you know. Spring, then we have leaves, grass, eggs in a nest, Robin, spring showers, farmer plowing a field, grass seeds sprouting, and flowers. And those are all some words that have to do with our book. They're all about spring. Did you see how we used some of those tricky words and we thought about what is this whole book about? What would make the most sense? Some words wouldn't have made sense in those spots if they didn't have to do with spring. So when you're reading your books at home, I want you to make sure you ask yourself, what is the whole book about? What word would really make sense there? If you're reading a book about spring and it's talking about a snowman, or you think it might be, would that make sense? I want you to stop and ask yourself, what is the whole book about? Would this word make sense? All right. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you have a great day. Bye.